Lord. That's all time to Great Fox. Team Star Fox, you're clear for entry. Opening shield now. Proceed. Copy control. Continue the file approach. Uh, McLeod, uh, Mr. Lombardi? What is it, Sergeant? I think my scopes just picked up something on the sensor wing. A uh, ghost image, I hope. Yeah, probably just another glitch like the false bias engine we saw in the cargo hall earlier. Yeah, is it still there? Well, uh, Oh, no, it's gone now. You're right, probably just a glitch. Shield reactivated. Atmospheric repressurization commencing. Grip, you copy? Grip? Oh, sorry, Lobo. I was getting some interference. It might be the asteroids. Either that or I'm getting Quark's hearing level already. You know, I can still hear you, Gryphone. Oh, sorry. I chose it means you're on the surface now, sir. Yep. May I advise not doing anything too explosive, sir? Advise all you want. Discretion ain't the main man's specialty. <laughs> Quite the riot, aren't you? Guys, focus. What Quirk says is valid, though. Try not to draw too much attention, unless you get the whole force in your back. Well, let's just hope things go over the most part, this time. Mm -hmm. How to get inside? <laughs> what is it, Luca? Forgive me, Master Yamamoto, but... Very rarely have I ever been more bored just watching cameras all night. I share the same predicament, my faithful student. However, Lord Masakai has appointed us as camera crew for this night. After all, it was about time we took our turn. <laughs> Please, my friend, be patient. I have a feeling something eventful will happen tonight. I hope you're right, sire. <sighs> hmm? What is it, Luca? Who or what do you see? One of the cameras seems to have picked up some sort of heat signature, and it seems to be near the front gate. L Lobo! Lobo? The self-proclaimed main man? Yes. Hurry! We must alert the guards! Hold that thought, Luca. But Master! What should we do then? First, let me determine who or what he's here for. Lord Masakai. Reveal to me, please, what Lobo's business is here. No one but a fool will try to break someone out of there. It's just a little job, fellas. I'll sort in and out before they notice he's missing. Hmm. Thank you, Osaka. Luca? He's after a bounty. An enemy. Which one? Kill a cannoli. The Joker Clown. And hopefully nothing much more. You're going to lead him straight to the Crooked Clown? Not entirely. I will create an opening for you. He will be on his own from then on, for the most part. But Master, do you not know what he's capable of? Yes, and much more. The idea is that Lobo will help to distract us from our board, as I'm sure you're aware of, too. But what of the Council? And what of Lobo- Leave the Council to me. <laughs> and we will handle whatever cleanup is necessary. Trust me. I hope you know what you're doing, Master. Relax. Things are in control right now. With respect, sire, I worry about when things are out of control. I understand, my friend. I understand. Huh. Wow. Suddenly I have to use the bathroom. Mm, there are probably guards on the other side of the door, too. Let's see. What would Peter Griffin do? That's right of the whole day. <laughs> I must have eaten too much since... Hey, wait a minute. What are all these M&Ms laying here for? Eh, I guess it wouldn't hurt to help myself to some... Hey, wait a minute. If I didn't know any better, I'd say this is a way to get somebody. Ah oh, well, better finish the next sentence before... Before the main man takes you out. Oh yeah. Five minutes later. I'm in. Where to next? Okay, good. Alright, head for the door in the middle towards the back. It will take you to an open field with a ladder on the back wall. Farther out. Right on. Uh-oh. Watch out, Lobo. You've got company. Huh? Who? Oh. There he is. Get him! Oh, great. Not these brains again. 
That's all we need. Well, it could be worse, sir. It's a smell of defeat, metaphorically speaking. Oh, good, 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 good. I thought it was my f feathers. Well, that's what it is speaking. Oh, good, 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 crap. What do we do, 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 do now? Eh, according to a recent law enforced by the Sworn Smash, now we gotta wait 15 minutes before you get back on the Cybus. Oh, uh, who came up with that? C -c -c crap. My best guess, Chancellor Evan. Uh, d -d -d dang it. Well, thank goodness you're still in one piece. Yeah. Say, so what's this letter here? Well, it seems to be the only way down to the cell blocks. Well, let's hope the elevator operator is friendly. It's fine, dude. No need to worry. I've been watching you. You look a little lost at this point. Going downward? I'm looking for someone. Killer Cannoli. You come here to knock him out, or you come here to spring him out? Well, mostly the letter right now. After that, well, that's yet to be determined. <laughs> it's alright, dude. Makes no difference to me. Let's see. Killer Cannoli. Oh, yeah, the clannish Joker main. He'd be on cell block level 3 in the same prison as some um, drunk DDD main. Drunk DDD. I'm just as baffled as you are, dude. Anyways, I'm headed down to the mines. Luckily, third cell block is on the way down. Come along, dude. So, who are you anyway? Or is it Mr. Turtle? Oh, Mr. Turtle is my father. I'll be a deceased. Oh, sorry, man. Much obliged, dude. Anyway, I was actually wrongfully framed for his death. Anyway, they call me Moss. You keep this to yourself, friend. Well, <laughs> I got no love for this place, no sorry, dude. Regardless, I'm in here just like the rest of the criminal dudes here. Hey, can I tell you a little thing between us? I won't say a word. Well, to the other criminals. Thanks. Anyway, the joke's on them bullies against me, regardless of my age. How old are you? 150, dude, and still young. Well, not by human standards, of course. Anyway, I eventually ended up just ignoring those jerks to the point they think I lost my hearing. But between us, Lobo, I hear everything. <laughs> and not just on my lunch breaks. I take it that means you've heard some about the generations? Whoa, kill them, mother, dude. You crazy? Just talk about loud, get you killed. Have you heard anything about them? 
Uh, well, for the record, I didn't warn you. All right, for the record. Uh, so, about three years back, a smuggler code named FLCL, he was an avid Waluigi fan to the point of voting for him in the Smash community. He'd been bragging about how he got some quote-unquote secret information, end quote, regarding the origins of the organization and the knowledge and erosions. Namely, that some dark forces will be behind Paul Jenner's son in recent revelations have been slain by some warrior of light. But FLCL says that this wasn't the end of that dark force. In fact, he reportedly claimed that a piece of the dark force's soul was placed inside a different warrior, somebody different from Paul Jenner. Sounds like to me that Jenner didn't initially know about this. That's what I thought to myself, too. FLCL goes on to say that this warrior was being caught on by some dark dude, but he ended up being saved by Paul Jenner. In fact, the two used a supply ship to escape. Well, this ship still had some rare and valuable spices, you see. FLCL had to get it back, so he hired a bounty hunter to track it down. Sometime later, this bounty hunter comes back scared stiff as a rock. He said he found the ship at some burial site overlooked by some creepy castle. On a nearby cliff, he reportedly saw a menacing warrior with a long sword and a single black wing, like a raven's wing, unleash an explosion of fire on two unfortunate dudes, I would think in some bizarre ritual. But FLCL says this guy was not Paul Jenner, nor was Jenner either of the victims. According to this bounty hunter, anyway. Wow, talk about a freaky comeback. Did this bounty hunter mention the name of the system? Or maybe the stage in general? You'd wish, dude. Unfortunately, that was all FLCL was able to give us. He said he was already at much risk, telling us as much as he had. I thought this poor kid was pulling in my leg. Till guards found him. Well, uh, whatever was left of him, in a cell three days later. Holy fragaroli. No kin, dude. Well, we're here, dude. I gotta get a move on. Good luck, Lobo. Thanks, boss. At this point, I think we'll both need it. True that, dude. True that. Am I the only one who's a bit bothered by the fact that this morse fellow seems to recognize Lobo and refer to him by name? Why should you be? I'm the main man after all. I do have to agree with Quark in this one, Lobo. Just be careful about the day when your reputation precedes you. It might come around to bite you someday. Well, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Huh. Speaking of bridges... What are you supposed to be going on in this place behind us? It's really cold out here. Oh, who even knows, Sam? Nobody tells us anything anymore. Looks like we're expendable or something. Yeah, like Hideo Kojima was to Konami, apparently. You said it. Anyway, I gotta use the bathroom. Keep your eyes peeled. I'll be back. Alright. Uh, Hull, who goes there? I'll give you a hit. I'm the guy who let you go when you were with Kira Kojo. Oh, <laughs> yeah. You were that guy I met before? <laughs> Relax. I'm not here to get you. Oh, what a relief. You know, I got six wives and two kids. Uh, don't you mean two wives and six kids? Oh, right. What are you ever doing here? I'm here for Bounty. Just one guy. Killer Cannoli the Clown. Red Clad Joker Mate. He's supposed to be in the same cell as a drunk DDD player. Um, I don't know anything about Killer Cannoli. But I think I know about the other guy. Okay, but I don't have much time. He's here, on the third floor, in one of the corners at the very back of the subline. Uh, please hurry, I don't want anything else blown up again. Me neither, thanks. I'll pay you back later. <laughs> uh, that won't be necessary. Uh, please hurry. Alt, who are you? Oh, uh, I'm the maintenance guy that was called for. Uh, from the Hotel de Frag. I think it was for uh, cell block level 3, I believe. Ah uh, yes, the maintenance man we need at the third cell block. Ah uh, yes, the maintenance man we need at the third cell block. Very well, at ease, come in. Very well, at ease, come in. Just be careful and watch yourself. Just be careful and watch yourself. Uh, yes, uh, thank you sir. Uh, was everything alright in there? Yeah, nothing suspicious to report. Why? Oh, nothing. Uh, just making sure. Huh. Talk about a shred of luck. You said it. Oh, crap. My disguise is about to fail. Uh, quick, quick. Where's the nearest body-sized trash can? Uh, let's see. Uh, okay. The one you passed. Behind you on your left. Hey, did you hear something? I think I did. But I don't know where it came from. It's okay, Lobo. Just be still. It's your best hope. Yeah, right. Hey, I think I heard something for this trash can. Oh, great. Uh, okay, uh, I'd better shut up now. Huh? 
Oh, it's just that radio again. Somebody must have left it on in that empty jail cell over there. Huh. Now that you mentioned it, maybe it was a man named Sky we waited for this whole time? Yeah, there might be the best explanation about it. That was too close for comfort. You said it, Quark. Quark Grip, we're next. Right. Okay, according to Shemp, the cell we need to reach is near one of the rear corners of the cell block. It seems like the best way to avoid the guards is to climb in from an air ventilation system. How could we possibly tell which one, though? So, anybody know any good jokes? <laughs> I think that just answered your question, Quark. Okay, here's one. So, two guys walk into a bar. You know you think the second guy would have ducked. <laughs> Get it? Hello, you. I'm Guru Larry, and we're all trying to get some shut I hear you, unfunny jester. <coughs> oh, I'm sorry. Was this supposed to be a punchline to that statement there, Larry? <laughs> <laughs> I think you want it now, Larry. <laughs> oh, this is just ridiculous. Why did I even bother? Hey, you criminals may be entitled to some great health care as far as the Constitution is concerned, but that doesn't entitle you mugs to ramble on, much less all through the night. You forget it, Piggy Wiggy. We're not Kansas anymore. We're on an asteroid, and there ain't no lights or sound in space where there's no oxygen. <laughs> I don't get it. How drunk are you, man? It wasn't a joke. Oh, I'm sorry. In here, we're thinking this whole legal system was ludicrous. Much less a joke without a punchline. Almost there, Lobo. Next vent on your right. Okay, okay, here's another one. Why did a chicken cross the road? Okay, Joker, I mean, I'm gonna count to three. And if... Better make that one. <laughs> All right, you asked for it. Uh-oh, you better hurry up, Lobo, or the Joker's rat bait. I know you're gonna enjoy this. I'm gonna have to enjoy it even more. What the... No! Ah, oh, can somebody tell me what just happened? <laughs>